guys to, to have a, um, a Veterans Administration Medical Center named, you have to introduce a bill, you have to have the support of every single member of your state's delegation, which meant in California, I believe there are 53 members of the delegation, all supported it. And then it went to the Senate and, and it, it was led by the California delegation also in the Senate. Is there a precedent for having a, a, a VA medical center named after a, a Holocaust survivor who may have served in the U.S.? This is the first time that a medical center has ever been named after a Holocaust survivor, U.S. member, a win, somebody who earned the Congressional Medal of Honor, who was liberated by the U.S. military after the Second World War, was so moved this became his adopted country, came to this country, joined the military, and saved literally 40 to 150, we don't know how many, saved his platoon, was captured by the Chinese, saved prisoners, in, in the camp by finding food and, and, and then came back and became a, a great volunteer here at, at the VA, both received services and sp literally gave hundreds and hundreds of hours of community service. This is, this is Tibor's home besides his own home with his family, but this is, you're now, we're now in Tibor's community, and Tibor is loved in this community, and what an honor now to recognize a Jewish veteran who, who gave to this country, won the Congressional Medal of Honor, a Holocaust survivor, and now the Tibor Rubin VA Medical Center will forever be known in his name. People will always remember. This is one of the great medical centers of the nation. This is not a small medical center. You go around. This is one of the primary. We just, you look at the resources and the facilities. This is one of the nation's largest and finest medical centers, and it now bears the name of Tibor Rubin. He seems to be beloved by the people from the hospital who know him. There, there doesn't seem to, to, to be a, 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 a milk toast attitude. Everyone of, of all, all faiths seem to be for Tibor this. Tibor was, you know, what, what I try to say, he's a hero not just because of his military service or what he did before. Tibor you, came Jim. to this hospital and, and he made people feel good. He made the other veterans here. He brought things for them. He, he went with walks with them. Tibor Rubin is beloved in this hospital. Outside of Long Beach, your district is not a predominantly Jewish district. What kind of a model, role model, does is, is Tibor for, for showing the, the essence of the Jew? Well, it's a wonderful story. You know, here is somebody who overcame a horrible story, and lost his family in the Holocaust, survived the Holocaust, gave back to his new adopted country, and now is beloved by his adopted country. He is, he is the, he will be, and this hospital will, will make sure that everybody in future generations knows the story of this Holocaust survivor, military hero, and wonderful human being. This tells the story of America. This is not, and the, and the role of the Jewish Americans in America, just like there are roles of other immigrant groups in America. And it's wonderful that, that a, 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 an immigrant like, a Jewish immigrant like Tibor, has forever will be known in this community as the uh, you know as the person who the, the the medical center was named after what an honor and uh, it seems like it means a lot to you personally does it I, I I just can't imagine you know being in Congress at such a divisive time you know a time when see that we came together and said this is so important Democrats and Republicans and the president, uh, and that was the last, one of the last acts of President Obama. And I think this just unites us and brings us together, and, and, and it's a wonderful thing to happen. That it took place one day after Victory in Europe Day, VE Day, right. H had the war gone a different direction, and if he was in, in a camp, Tibor would have would have died with the rest of his family. He would not have been. We would not be here honoring him today. That's right. If the war had gone the wrong way.
So is it a special connection, you think, for the Veterans Hospital to have the veterans, World War II, Korea, who, who served this country and, and, and helped save people? Who, as was pointed out, not only was he a veteran, not only is it important to other veterans, not a, but he was subjected to, to great anti-Semitism while he was in the military. And he overcame that, protected his, all his troops knew that he was sent on the most dangerous missions. He was not, you know, he was discriminated by the, by his, by the, the sergeant, but Tibor overcame that. It's a wonderful story about how goodness and courage overcomes hatred and divisiveness.